um, for myself, I had a complex issue my entire life. Um, I never loved myself. And I'm not saying that I don't love myself today because I do. But because I was always the lightest in my family on my mother's side. And it was like I was always the white girl of the family. Or, you know, white folk. They would call me white folk. Or, you know, the kids in the neighborhood call me milkman's baby. And, you know, or people would ask me, what color are you? Is your father white? No, my father's black and white. My mother's black. Um, she's long past. She's passed on 10 months ago. But my both my parents were African Americans. Um, but growing up, it was always, I just never felt like I fit in. I was always called so many names. You know, I was really skinny then, so I didn't have much curve. And so I was always called skinny mini, uh, um, bone sticks and bones, you know, and, and, you know, things like that. And, and it gave me a complex and I didn't like my lips. I felt that they were too big. And I just, I always said, when I get older, I'm going to get rid of these lips. But why would I change something that God created with his own hands? He shaped me, formed me, and molded me the way I'm supposed to be today. Why, can, why would I want to change something that God felt was beautiful? We're all beautiful in his eyes. We're all the same in his eyes. If we accept Jesus, we're all the same. No one's different. So for me, what helped me to learn to love myself was having a relationship with God.